conditioning drills that will keep you ready for the season. The Midwest Ballers Show is sponsored by Milwaukee State of Mind, Clothing and Apparel, Trusted Kicks, Athlete Performance, Advertise Ad Agency, and Milwaukee Public Schools. Hey gang, Craig Harden here from the Midwest Baller Show and welcome to our Christmas episode. This show is being filmed on the campus of Milwaukee School of Engineering in the heart of downtown Milwaukee, Wisconsin at the Kern Center. We'll show you around this place, but first let's find out who made it in this week high school reel. Start first with Whitefish Bay on the road at Nicolay High School to take on the Knights. Nicolay Jack Brim drives and kicks it out to a wide open Sonny. He connects for three. The Bay out and running on the break and Michael Kirkendall goes coast to coast, but he misses the shot. Joe Boyd is there for the putback. Nicolay wants to run and Sonny will find the open man. This time it's Jeremy Needham for three. Whitefish Bay Xavier Johnson beats his man off the dribble for the layup. Nicolay feeds the post and Jaden Harden banks the shot off the glass for the bucket. Xavier was having himself one big first half as he gets his pull up to drop. Whitefish Bay will build a nine point lead in the first half getting close shots like this by Harry Graham. We go to the second half and that night's Robert Beal cuts into the Blue Deuce lead when he drills this tray. Whitefish Bay answers right back with a three of their own by Gunner Stock, but Nicolay holds on to win this one 84 to 76. Now let's head over to Wisconsin Lutheran where Watertown faced off against the Vikings. Wisco Jr. for Bernard Williams drives, then he kicks it out to sharp shooting Quincy Minor for the tray. Watertown Farron Voigt makes the defense collapse, then finds a dive in Trevor Tritz. Wisco moves the ball around until it ends up in Marcelo Duckworth's hands. He rattles in the tray. Loose ball and the Watertown comes up with it. Now it's time for Farron Voigt to go Euro dancing with this nice move over the deep. We move to the second half and Marcellus will attack the rim, gets the and one. A Vikings defense breakdown leads to this five foot jump shot by Ben Smith. Watch this old school Larry Johnson, AKA Grandmama spin move by Bernard Williams. Don't do him like that young fella. Watertown down seven, trying to fight back in this one. Max Clark pulls up on the fast break, cutting the lead to five. But Quincy and the area fifth ranked team will respond. He buries this triple. Watertown has a gamer in Farron Voigt. He did his best to keep his team in this one with baskets like this. Wisconsin Luther will answer the bell this time with Duckworth pass leads to the semi dunk by the 6'9 senior John Bailey. Let's go overpowers Watertown down the stretch. Bernard Williams is a big that can handle the rock. He gets to the rim and one. Wisconsin Luther wins 55 to 44. We, we started off last year. All right, then we get, got into a good win streak, then we started losing. But now that we back back in action, we, we are ready to go. And everybody's cheering us on, even our opponents cheering us on. So we ready for it. Wisco basketball, we always had a target on our back. We just made it a little bit bigger by being fifth. Now we're just going to have to suit up and toughen up, lock down, and uh, focus on more than just offense. Uh, me and Bernard, we, we got a chemistry. We've been friends, teammates since about fourth grade. So, you know, whenever he in trouble, I'm there to pick him up. Whenever I'm in trouble, he's there to pick me up. So we got that great connection. Inside, I can get a few post touches, and then once that happens, they start to collapse, and I kick it out to Q, and who is can knock it down or get in the pain and elevate all over everybody. Whitefish Bay could be a dangerous team once they get their star guard David Thompson back. And speaking of dangerous, me working out without any guidance could be a dangerous thing. Let's find out what Steve has for us in this week tips from Steve.
In this week's Tips from Steve, we're going to be showing you an upper body in-season workout that's going to be a series of pull-ups, push-ups, and knee tucks. Each time you do a pull-up, you're going to make sure you're squeezing your scaps in the back. Then you're going to be dropping down and working on your push-up, making sure your chest to the ground and you're squeezing your chest at the top. After the push-up, you're going right into your knee tuck, working on your core stability and rolling your knees all the way up to your chest. The reps on this, you're going to be starting at 10, 10, 10, 9, 9, 9. You're working your way all the way down to ones. The next exercise is going to be a ceiling touch, making sure you're leading with your chin and squeezing your abs, upper abs on the top. You're going to grab a med ball and you're going to be going right into a Russian twist and then throwing that med ball right in between your knees into a knee tuck. Your sets and reps are going to start at 15, 20, 15, 12, 20, 12, working your way down to 10, 20, 10. These are two great upper body exercises that will get you through the in-season workouts. And that's this week's Tips from Steve. Good morning. This is Jabari Parker from the Milwaukee Bucks. It's early, but I'm already in training center. I got where I am today by working hard every day. I own my future, and you can too. Go to school, be on time, and make the most of your day. Trusted Kicks is a place where you can buy, sell, and trade sought-after sneakers. You can find us in the heart of downtown Milwaukee. We buy Jordan Retro sneakers along with other exclusive models such as Kanye West Yeezy shoes and many others. Make sure to stop in and check us out at 532 North Water Street or visit us at our website which is www.trustykicks.com. Athlete Performance is Wisconsin's premier athletic training provider. From individual to group sessions, we have what's needed to take your game to the next level. Our world-class facility, staff, and programs ensure that you can reach your maximum potential, maintain your performance, and excel on the field of play. Athlete Performance, come to where the pros train. Hey, this is Steve Becker from Athlete Performance. Make sure you stay up on all current information on our website, trainap.net, as well as follow us on Twitter, at TrainAPWI, and follow us on Instagram, at Athlete Performance. Welcome back to the Midwest Boiler Show here on the campus of Milwaukee School of Engineering. Well, if you're familiar with high school basketball, you probably heard of the name Jordan Poole, the former Rufus King general standout. Well, he decided to go to prep school for his final year of high school basketball. Jordan Poole made a name for himself in the state of Wisconsin in his three years starring at Milwaukee Rufus King High School. But Jordan and his family decided to switch things up going into Jordan's senior year. I go to Lalamere uh, Academy in Indiana, uh, LaPorte, Indiana. Uh, I play with uh, Brian Bowen, Tiger Campbell, uh, Jared Jackson, Jacob Everson, and right now we're the number one team in the country uh, for top 10 independent schools. Uh, we play schools like Oak Hill, Friendly Prep, uh, Mount Verde Academy, stuff like that. Um, so we're playing against uh, a lot of high major kids uh, day in and day out, um, traveling around the country playing in top tournaments, uh, hoop hall, um, cancer research tournaments, stuff like that. So uh, we're playing against a lot of the best players uh, in the country. And playing with some of the country's top 50 high school players would definitely help Jordan get ready for college hoops. I feel like uh, it was a better situation uh, because um, you know I'm I'm getting better as far as uh, playing against high level competition every day in practice and um, I got a great coaching staff around me. Also getting prepared mentally for college uh, as far as making sure I'm going to class on time and um, doing everything by myself, working out in the morning, making sure uh, I'm getting up, stuff like that. So just the, the regular necessities that I need to do for college. Sports wise, as far as basketball, they got some big major games coming this year. You know, they're going to be on ESPN a couple of times. I think the first time is like, uh, the 15th of December, so he's going against high major competitions. It's only going to get him better so when he goes to Michigan, get him ready for a John Beeline in his system. So, At the end of the day, this was a big decision for the Poole family, allowing Jordan to leave home 
a year early. I mean, for me, it wasn't a hard decision. I thought it was the best decision for him because I knew it was going to make him better, get him ready for Michigan, going against better competition. That's the regimen of going to work out in the morning, uh, two hours mandatory study all, playing against better competition. For me, it was an easy decision. It was more harder decision for my wife to let him go. So, But I think once we came up on the same decision, it was, it was a good thing for him. A little bit, only because I felt like uh, I had gained such a, a connection with the people that uh, I was around every day, but um, it was going to happen anyway. Uh, I'm just decided to do a year early because when you go to college, you you got to leave and you know what I'm saying you're still in the same situation. But uh, it's just uncommon to do it as a senior instead of a freshman in college. So uh, it depends on how you look at it. And just to clear the air, the Poole family was never looking to have Jordan leave Rufus King. Just like a coincidence, because the day before um, or the day of that coach from Lalu hit me up. Uh, coach Guys had said he was leaving to go to Dominican, so it wasn't uh, like anything that I was looking into before it. But so when so, like a door opens up like that, you just kind of look at it and uh, you know what I'm saying, look at the opportunities and ideas. But uh, I was talking to my mom about it that same day, and she just started doing all types of research. So when I kind of realized she was on board, it was kind of like a done deal. I'm saying being a mama's boy and not letting her not letting her son leave was uh, something that I wasn't really used to. So when she said I can leave, then uh, it kind of was just all uphill from there. During Jordan's junior year, the team went through ups and downs, not typical for a great program like Rufus King. I think from the beginning, it was, it was a chemistry. Straight, chemistry. I don't, I don't think it was the coaches. I think it, the kids just didn't buy into the system. How King normally is, guys is a good coach, hard-nosed coach. I think what he was trying to get done with the team that they had would have worked. It was a little issues with, a, I say, you know, I don't, I don't say jealousy, but that's uh, what the kids just wasn't mentioned as a team. Uh, and it hurt the team as a whole. I think Jordan has been, a, at that time, a third-year person on varsity uh, as the leader. I think some of the kids just wasn't buying into what God was trying to say and what they needed to do to, to go up and win state. And it hurt the team. And I think in the long run, Things could have been a lot better, and I think at, at certain points it just didn't get squashed and it hurt a, a, a problem for the team. The Michigan recruit will only get better with his time at prep school. Now it's time for my favorite part of the show. Let's find out who lands in this week's Zed Starting Five, powered by Trusted Kicks. Alright guys, this is Trusted Eric coming in with you from Trusted Kicks, an employee at Trusted Kicks. I'm coming in with y'all to show y'all my top five, top five favorite shoes that I like mostly in the store, you know, feet. First of my top five is the human race. <clears throat> I prefer this shoe because it's mainly comfortable and real different, real nice material to it and it's also a good shoe to wear around, look cool in and be real comfortable, so that's why this is one of my top shoes. Another top shoe I like is the Just Dime Blues, mainly for the color. I like to wear hats and jackets. A lot of blue jackets and hats I can wear with this. So this is why this is one of my top fives, Just Dime Blues. Another one is an exclusive of mine, one that I really admire. It's the Shatter Backboard Ones. A classic. I see a lot of people rocking these. Real nice to rock. And another one is a new favorite of mine. It's the Chocolate Yeezy 750s. These are real nice to rock. rock. Something different. Real hard to get, real rare to get, but if you get your hands on these, just know you got something real special. Last but not least, <clears throat> Space Jams. One of my favorites of them all. I'm a real Jordan fan, been one since a kid. So these right here always be my top. And there you have it. Trusty E signing out. Thank you all for watching. Thank you so much for sharing with us your starting five. Now remember, if you, the audience, want to be on this show, email us at mwbstarting5 at gmail.com. Now let's head back to the court and see what the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee did in this week college roundup.
The University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee playing at home on campus at the Kalachi Center to take on Western Illinois. Panthers guard Jeremiah Bell drives and then draws in the D. Then he kicks it out to Jeremy Johnson. He knocks down the shot. This guard Bill this time calls his own number. He turns the corner, gets to the rack, and finishes with the left hand. Western Illinois is making perimeter shots like this all day long by Garrett Covington. Milwaukee Jeremiah Bell is in attack mode all game long. This time he drives, then pulls up for the jump shot. Cash. Great ball movement by the leather next leads to another open shot by Garrett Coverton, this time from downtown. Coaching staff trying to draw up something to stop the hot shooting Western Illinois. The visiting team was getting it down low also with this nice pick and roll. This time it's easy basket by Mike Malinsky. Watch Wisconsin native Brandon Gilbeck drops the baby jump shot hook over the Panther defense. The Panthers trying to get close shots at the rim, but the Leathernecks deep was coming up big with blocks like this. More block action and Brandon Gilbeck was getting his eat on. Another low post score. August Haas drives, makes the defense collapse, and the Panthers could not get the bunnies to drop. August looking for some redemption. He buries this tray. Panthers down 12. Covington Garrett was unstoppable in this game. Here he is dropping in the pull up jump shot off the screen. Milwaukee Cody Whitman knows a thing or two about shooting. Here he is drilling the three, but it would not be enough. Western Illinois defeat Milwaukee 75 to 59. Trusted Kicks is a place where you can buy, sell, and trade sought after sneakers. You can find us in the heart of downtown Milwaukee. We buy Jordan Retro sneakers along with other exclusive models such as Kanye West Yeezy shoes and many others. Make sure to stop in and check us out at 532 North Water Street or visit us at our website which is www.trustedkicks.com. Athlete Performance is Wisconsin's premier athletic training provider. From individual to group sessions, we have what's needed to take your game to the next level. Our world-class facility, staff, and programs ensure that you can reach your maximum potential, maintain your performance, and excel on the field of play. Athlete Performance, come to where the pros train. Good morning, this is Jabari Parker from the Milwaukee Bucks. It's early, but I'm already in training center. I got where I am today by working hard every day. I own my future, and you can too. Go to school, be on time, and make the most of your day. And the show keeps moving on. One of my favorite rappers had a verse saying he was a top five rapper, dead or alive. Well, we feel the same way about JB from Midwest Ballers, as he's one of the top five mixtapes producers in the game. Let's check out JB in action. And thank you, JB, for that hot mix. It's only a matter of time before JB ends up in the Hall of Fame. Now let's get into this week Midwest Ballers highlights.
the high-scoring Milwaukee North Division Blue Devils hit the road to face off against Milwaukee Juno. Blue Devil Zeke Sanders gets the offensive rebound, then kicks it out to a silky smooth left hand Jordan Anderson. He drills the three. Juno 5'5 five five point guard Jarvis Roberts pulls up over the defense. Splash. But you gotta get back on defense. Anderson leaks out, receives his pass. This kid has a Stephen Curry green light, pulls up from deep, nothing but the bottom of the net. Jeremiah Lee finds a open Marcel Dismore, and he will make them pay as he knocks down the tray. Juno will break the North Press with the pass, and The Rock ends up in Dwayne Walker's hand. He connects from long distance. North Division will keep attacking you the whole game, and will get transition buckets like this one by Darren Williams with the and one. Another long rebound by the Blue Devils. They take another three. They miss, but another rebound by Zeke Sanders. He misses the shot, gets a third offensive rebound before finally getting the basket to drop. It's always remember the guy taking the ball out is an option. Walker inbounds the rock, gets it back, and then glides in for the finger roll. In the second half, the Pioneers, Dwayne Walker, drives the lane, kicks it out to his teammate. He lowers his shoulder and somehow finishes over the deep. Jordan Anderson does not need much time to get his shot off. He comes off the screen and lets it fly for three. This turnover by the North leads to this fast break and Jarvis will test the defense and somehow the smallest guy on the court gets this tough layup to drop. But the Devils would take a seven point lead off this easy fast break that sees Anderson finishes off with a layup. Check out this nice hesitation move. He will finish it off with the floater. Juno clawing their way back in this one. Walker gets this bucket to drop. But in this game, North Division got all the 50-50 balls and Trey Thomas is going to introduce the Juno defender to his Euro step, gets the bucket, and North goes on to win 92 to 86. It's the players, and, and the system is good. But it's the player, and it's the players like him who put their time in. Darren Riley's at Valley State. Uh, uh, David Hamilton is at Southern. He basically just moving around, reading the defense, you know what I'm saying? Going hard in practice, listening to what he says in practice, going over the plays, and just working in the system, just going hard. So basically just work hard all my life, really waiting for this time and time came. Finally. It seems like it doesn't matter because Milwaukee North Division High School will always have the state top score. Hopefully you guys enjoyed our Christmas edition. Merry Christmas to you all. But before we go, check out the top plays of the week sponsored by Milwaukee Public Schools. Athlete Performance is Wisconsin's premier athletic training provider. From individual to group sessions, we have what's needed to take your game to the next level. Our world-class facility, staff, and programs ensure that you can reach your maximum potential, maintain your performance, and excel on the field of play. Athlete Performance, come to where the pros train. Trusted Kicks is a place where you can buy, sell, and trade sought-after sneakers. You can find us in the heart of downtown Milwaukee. We buy Jordan Retro sneakers along with other exclusive models such as Kanye West Yeezy shoes and many others. Make sure to stop in and check us out at 532 North Water Street or visit us at our website which is www.trustedkicks.com. Good morning. This is Jabari Parker from the Milwaukee Bucks. It's early, but I'm already in training center. I got where I am today by working hard every day. I own my future, and you can too. Go to school, be on time, and make the most of your day.